Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorial series on making montages. Today I'm going to show you how to sync up audio and, and uh, video with your music track. So what I have here, this is a clip that's rendered from After Effects and this is the same clip you know just by itself and it's got the audio with it. First thing you want to do is right click on your clips when you drop them in, go to properties and disable resample and we don't really care about this clip because we're not using the video but you want to switch you want to be able to disconnect these so you're going to select the video clip and then press U on the keyboard and that unhooks them so that way we can move the audio over before I, I sync it up to the music what I like to do is sync it up with the uh, the video so we're just gonna go through here until he takes the first shot to be right there slide our audio over and the you know you can see all these the audio waveform where it spikes and everything those are usually the the shots now I got it a little bit off because I uh, used Twixter there so that's gonna make this this next shot go over just a little bit so I pressed uh, S on the keyboard to split that. Now I'm just going to slide that over until it matches up again. Still feels a little bit off. I'm going to go down to the speed rate, set it to 0.5 so it'll play a little slower. That last one needs to go over just a little bit. If you make the sound for right when it comes out of the scope, it, it usually looks like it's synced up pretty good. Alright, there we go. So we'll change this back to one. And we got our next shot here. I'm just pressing right on the, the right arrow key to go frame by frame. Another more quickly there, so the next shot's gonna be off. So S on the keyboard to split that. Look for the next shot that he takes. And slide that over. Alright, everything looks like it's lining up pretty good. Like that goes into the next clip there so we don't need the rest of the auto I'm just gonna and, and instead of having it just cut off if you go up here until this little icon comes up you can uh, actually fade the audio out so now that we have all this synced up together we're gonna uh, hold down control select all your clips and then press G and that's gonna group them all together so now when you move them they're all together again Alright, let's see. Next thing we need to do is sync it up to the audio track, which I have right here. This is, um, I'm making this for, for Machinima, so I, I need to redo all of it just for the whole new audio track. I'm saving all this space right here for the intro. And I just want to have that first shot on the, uh, the first bass drop or whatever, which is coming up. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it play, and then if you press M when it's playing, it'll set a marker. So I know that's where that beat's going to be. So I can slide this over until it lines up with the audio form right there. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm just going to mute this. I'm going to let this play and set some markers, you know, on the beat. Oops. Yeah, hold on a second here. Alright, 
right, so what I did was I just set these markers close to where these shots are. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Now we need to re unhook the video track. So you're going to press U and then right click insert em envelope velocity. And you're going to double click on all these markers to add a velocity point. And then after you do that, you're going to add one more like this. Now, this is where we want the shot to be, but this is where the shot really is, is right here. So if you speed up the clip, see this is changing the speed to 131%, it actually moves the track over. So then we can move our, whoops. You want to unhook each of your uh, individual sounds and then move them over. So that one's synced up, we need to go to the next one. I'm going to split this so I can move it individually. And then that's synced up again. Now we'll go to the last one. And just raise that up a little bit right there. Again, you want to unhook your... So you're going to press U. That way you don't move all of them together that, that were hooked together. So let's watch through this. I'm going to show you one more time how to do this. We're going to double click on our points. And because we're going to add one point right there ahead of it, because this is going to change the speed of all of this when I adjust it like this. See, that makes it go faster all as it goes up. I'm just going to set an arbitrary point over here so it only goes faster from right there to there. Alright, so this is where we want it, the shot, and this is where the shot is. Anytime you move it to the left, you, you have to speed it up by raising this up. And anytime the shots over here and you want it to go over to, towards the right you're actually going to slow the clip down so that looks good right there remember to press U slide that over check the next shot and that looks good right there alright so I'm gonna let you guys watch all of that. And there you go. That's how you sync up the audio with using the velocity tool, unhooking the video, and, and syncing up all, all of your shots with uh, the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.